All right, guys, please, please do not be mad at me. I know you will be tempted to, but just hear me out and please don't be mad. I had a lot of free time today. I did a lot of thinking and I revamped the way we're doing spin to win. I know it's crazy. It's out of nowhere, but trust me, it'll be for the better. Just don't be mad. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. As you can see from the title, which I'm calling it new format or something, I've got a new way to do spin to win. And I hope you're not upset. Like I'm going to change a ton of stuff here, but trust me, it'll be for the better as we finish this series and continue it throughout the summer. I've written down a ton of notes. I've gotten a ton of stuff prepared so I can explain it accurately enough to you guys in a short time. So let's rock it through. If you have any questions, let me know, but I hope it makes sense. It's still the same gist of the series and all that, but we've got a slightly new lineup and we've got a bunch of new rules. First things first, I will tell you the reason I started this new format or I'm doing this is because I've got an end goal for the series, which is what it's always needed. And the end goal is now to have a fully diamond or pink diamond starting and bench lineup, all 10 positions that I use. Makes sense. Now, obviously we were pretty close to that with where I left off in last episode. So I had to set the lineup back a bit. And what I did was decided to go a full amethyst starting lineup and sapphire bench. Wait for it. Which as you can see here is in 2K, full amethyst in the starters, full sapphire off the bench and i kept a bunch of the players the same you know kevin durant john wall porzingis leonard baron davis donovan mitchell lebron in the starters and that is because players not cards players are very specific in this form of spin to win i will now direct your attention to the spin challenge wheel which is actually the exact same i've changed nothing to it you guys can always continue to give me more suggestions for challenges and more ideas that is staying the same we'll be spinning it once before each video in addition we will be spinning this new position wheel and as you can see on the position wheel we've got groups of starting guards forward center and bench guards forward and center if in the game we complete the challenge that means we get one tier upgrade of whatever position we land on for example if we complete the challenge and we had landed on bench forwards that means i get to upgrade either kevin durant or Kristaps porzingis to their ruby version and it has to be the same player if i landed on starting guards i could do donovan mitchell or baron davis up to their diamond edition see how that works yeah <laughs> now you're probably thinking jay what if you don't want to use these 10 players all year or something what if you change you want to change but don't worry there's also an option for that and that is if we win the game then we go to this new formed reward wheel so there's actually only 10 options on here you can give me suggestions for this as well almost all of these options are fire and they're all going to give us new players for example this is a good one any of the west all-star starters from these years so we have to do a specific year we'll randomize it and we'll get a year for example 2010 the starters for the west all-stars in 2010 carmelo anthony dirk steve nash and Mari, tim duncan we get our choice of those five cards but here's the thing we can only upgrade again one tier of whatever card there we choose if we wanted to take that new steve nash we could replace baron davis with steve nash and go from amethyst up to a diamond that's totally legit but we couldn't put steve nash off the bench see we would have to go to a ruby card if we wanted to upgrade john wall a guy like carmelo anthony he's got a ruby amethyst and diamond card so we could choose any version of him basically put him in off the bench or in the starters winning a game and hitting the reward wheel is how we'll get different players but no matter what we're only upgrading players by one tier at a time and again the reason for this is because I don't want to get a fully diamond team in like three episodes like we can't jump ahead we have to do it by the process we could get a challenge completed and win the game and get two upgrades each video but if we lose we no longer have an l wheel instead we get downgraded two tiers of any player so we'll respin the position wheel and we have to take either one player down two tiers or two players down one do you see what i'm getting at two downgrades if we lose it's really gonna kill us also i'll pop these two pictures up here now it's our win streak and losing streak bonus that gets applied on top of everything else so if we keep winning there are options for us to get other fire added to the squad we'll do that each video when if we well when we start a win streak or if we start a losing streak and that again will reset starting today this is the one other new wheel it's called the all or nothing wheel as you can see it's got upgrade or nothing on the wheel a bunch of times if we get a rage quit we get a spin of this wheel and it can either give us another bonus upgrade or nothing so a rage quit isn't even guaranteed to be fire and other than that man you're gonna see it in action here in this first episode it should be fire leave me your thoughts your suggestions for challenges and rewards and also i'm gonna need your guys's help for choosing the players and which position we upgrade in each video so there's gonna be tons of interaction as per usual we've got an end goal making our lineup fully diamond 12 seconds later and the first thing we do before every video stays the same 
time spin the challenge wheel and these become even more important to give us a guaranteed upgrade of one of the players we have and it is five threes with any player gonna be a little bit tougher now that we don't have a diamond but something i need to focus on and for the position wheel this of course will be whatever we upgrade for the challenge should we get it and it is starting forward so if i hit five threes with any player that guarantees us we'll be moving up one of our cards to a diamond that would be a really good start boys please man new format of the series trying out some new cards just don't give me pink diamond Giannis or lebron at the pool <laughs> The only thing we have to make sure to do is hit five threes with one player. Oh, and the game is lagging. That is not a good, not a good sign. I want to hit these threes with Kawhi Leonard. I think he's got the best rating on the, oh, never mind. Donovan Mitchell wide open in the corner. Let's go. I need four more threes with Donovan ASAP. Good luck with all that. Also, one thing that will never not frustrate me with 2K, as you see him getting the block. Why is this LeBron? He's a Cleveland LeBron. Why is he not wearing his headband? Like it's supposed to be the young LeBron. Like give us, man, give us the full effect of the young LeBron, please. So let's go transition. Speaking of LeBron get it out to uh oh i thought donovan mitchell was at the point let's go donovan into the corner dang it he's off balling that is gonna make three pointers even more tough because he's not gonna well maybe he will oh he is sagging off right there yes donovan mitchell that's two baby full white no nope. what donovan no there's no time to miss three i shouldn't be too confident that this man's actually gonna quit like let me just focus on getting a big lead here and then we can work on getting man he's leaving me wide open okay Perfect. Kawhi, you can hit a three but let's get somebody a little bit hot i actually like this amethyst lebron too he's really cheap and he's like a pretty he's a pretty dominant version of lebron like what else would you expect i just wish he was wearing number i mean the headband he's wearing the right number donovan threw the leg all right that's number two let's keep it going let's go get inside baron davis kick it out yes right there good look donovan <laughs> i am chucking him up with donovan mitchell man but that's three uh we're looking good so far i'll keep the starters in until we get that five challenge completed i just realized literally from out of nowhere i wasn't paying attention the first quarter ended like <laughs> i've been so no don't quit help me me. Please, I need to get it, man. I, I need it. I need everything in the first episode to show it off. Let's go. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to move. Actually, that was not a bad shot. You know what? Kawhi Leonard's wide open. Kawhi's gonna sneak up. And get what? How did I miss that? Oh my goodness. They are hating on me. Come on, Kawhi. If you get open again, just hit it. I won't even be mad at you. I won't even be... Oh, Donovan Mitchell. That's a good fading three. Yes. Even though it's not the diamond, if it's still wide open, it's a good look. All right, that's four. That's four. <laughs> I'm so rattled right now. I can't hit this fifth three with Donovan Mitchell to save my life. And, and this is just embarrassing. Like, I should be up by a lot. I just need to do this. I'm so focused on it. Come on, man. Eric Bledsoe, why are you playing such tight D, man? Come on, step back. Uh, that's not a good look. Please just go in. Thank you. <sighs> okay, now I can finish this game. It's about damn time. All right, here we are, fourth quarter. And yes, I know what you're thinking. This is still a close game as we foul him and one. Just don't even ask, man. <laughs> this has been so ugly, so frustrating. Come on, starters on their way back in, but you can do something tomorrow. That is Isaiah Thomas inside. I was about to say like just just do a layup over him it's isaiah thomas i'll take free throws as long as you make two <sighs> come on we're out in transition demar Derozan's still out here with the starters it's all good in fact in fact no i was gonna say i see demar but i see Kawhi leonard to the rim kick it out this demarcus can actually shoot i got a center who can shoot i don't have Shaq in there let's go though i'm i'm muscling you inside jay crowder too small baby come on i gotta take advantage his carl malone on my lebron yes he's off balling but it doesn't matter i don't think oh oh this carl he actually has good defensive attributes oh look at that cross though get yo oh, come on Whew. get over here Shaq. i don't know what i was just saying but Shaq got dunked on we're gonna win this game it should have been a lot easier though Are you actually kidding me? 14 seconds left in this game. This man quits. Well, then I guess I guess we get another. Well, we get the all or nothing spin for the rage quit. I get to show you everything in this first video. Man, that was an ugly game. Now, obviously, we completed the spin challenge, so we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, a look at our new reward wheel. This is what we get for winning the game. Just for getting the W, we get a spin of this. Let's see what it gives us. And that is very interesting. 2 Gampy Central Boost Pack. I kept that on there because these packs give us all different types of card tiers. And one more time, looking at my lineup, I only need a diamond, which can go in the starting lineup, or a ruby off the bench. If our pack doesn't have a diamond or a ruby, we're screwed. We get nothing, but I'm pretty sure it will. And here we go. 2 Gampy Central Boost Pack. These are sometimes fire. Like, you can get pink diamonds from these. You can also get 
not pink diamond. Here we go, flip ball as, no, there are, really? There were no diamonds in this whole pack. Okay, Kyle Lowry, can't be Russell is not on the auction block. So that means the only thing from this pack we can take is a ruby. Remember one tier up. So we have no way to advance to amethyst at this point. So it's gotta be Kyle Lowry. Now the second aspect of that game, we spun starting forwards before, which means the upgrade if we completed the challenge applies to starting small forward or power forward. And we completed the challenge. Dude, this one's easy. I know there's a diamond Kawhi. I should ask you guys which one I should do. Should I take diamond Kawhi? Or I could just go right ahead and put in diamond LeBron there. Like, dude, I'm gonna do that. I know you guys would vote for that anyways. Diamond LeBron, that is the one upgrade we get. And now we're done. We don't need to upgrade power forward starters anymore because the end goal to get a full diamond lineup. Well, there's our first one. And the last aspect of this whole new format for spin to win and of this video all or nothing because we got him to rage quit so we get potentially another upgrade just a straight up upgrade of a position slot or nothing let's see what it's gonna give us yes 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 keep going keep going keep going <laughs> no nothing oh but there you have it first video with the new format we get lebron locked and loaded we won't need to touch that now for the rest of the series and we have our first step to getting a diamond off the bench with ruby Kyle Lowry. Too bad he doesn't dynamic duel with that DeMar. And like I've said a million times, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope I explained this all well. I just had an idea to do this and I thought it would be more fun, a little bit more simple and straightforward. Now we have an end goal, so I hope you guys liked it too. Show me you want more of this series by hitting the thumbs up, see if we can get a thousand likes on this bad boy, and I'll try and bring the next one out ASAP. But that's all I got for this one, guys. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Jay Canada. You stay gold.